Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. In the last episode we got through the Shrine of Amana, and now we are going to investigate the uh, Undead Crypt that we've been kind of hearing a little bit about. Interesting, there's an oil urn up here. getting all their stuff. I think we've maxed out Estus, by the way. I think we found all of them. I th there's 12 in this game. Maybe there's 15. Maybe 15's the max, but there's only 12 per playthrough. And then, yeah, this is, uh, this is, at least I found one of these guys in No, no Man's Wharf, but I wasn't really He's got like runes all over his body. But yeah, he like follows you um, places. This is cool. So this is, um, yeah, I didn't realize that this guy was here. He has two shields which depict a woman and a man. Oops. Weird, I can hit him through the Anyway, it's not one of these guys in No Man's Wharf, but um, he uh, doesn't attack you, but he just follows you around. We will have to kill him in a little bit, but we can take him through this area for now. Okay. These guys are worshipping these people. And they have lightning and dark attacks. And pyromancy. They're called the Ladia. The Ladia uh, sorcerers, or I don't remember. Wow, these guys are dropping a lot of things. Uh, so where's my guy? Did I kill him? Devotee Scarlet. Um, I'll go this alone for now. Did I kill Torch Pro by, by accident? Is this him? Did I? Was I just not paying attention? Yep, there he is. Well, I would have killed him right at this point anyway. Because. Halt. Human. Do not produce light. Light. And all those who bear it. Are unwelcome in this place. Now these are the Grey Wardens, which I guess are the guys that are in the um, Earthen Peak, but these are like more undead or something, more hollowed. You can only see this guy in here. He's an interesting character. I am Asdain, guardian of the crypt. Countless dead rest here in peace, cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. So yet another example of dark representing peace and serenity, and that light aggravates dark. It seems that in this kind of game, they're trying to communicate that you know, like there was dark, and then the god of light. <laughs> like, like if there wasn't light, it was all dark. But of course, they talk about disparity in the first game, and that light brought dark. Before that, there was like nothing. I am a Benito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. 
countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. Some were rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull, but now... They're all just dead. So we met the mill finito, and then he says, I am a finito, and I've been given this task for the... You're granted by the guy that gave us the first dead. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, Nito, same kind of things. Milfinito, the Finito is like the actual race, I guess. Or maybe where they're from. I don't really know. But anyway, so. He also is kind of stating that everyone's equal when they're dead. Um, you know, it doesn't matter whether they're rich or poor, they're all the same now, which there's some beauty in that, I guess. Did you come for him? The one called Fendrick? Yes. You will find him deeper inside. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. But they rest here now. Put to death by the king's own guards. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. We shall see. In the past, humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer are you humans. How you go on. Never separating truth from fiction. I don't like how he does that, where he says the former king of light or whatever, lord of light. I mean, there's obviously countless potentially lords of light between them. Um, and like, people that have kind of like defeated the old ones and Link the Flame. There's been many, many that have happened since, so I don't know why he's specifically referring to Gwyn. Maybe he's not. But he also, you know, thinks that we don't fully understand it. That we think that light's good and dark is bad, or whatever. I don't know. This place is welcome to all, provided due reverence is shown. Death is equitable, accepting. We will all one day be welcomed by her embrace. Tell me what you desire. Show me reverence, and I will lend you my hand. It's a nice haircut. Grave Warden Agdane. So you have the Ring of Thorns plus one. We saw this on Pate. So maybe Pate was a aligned with the finito these dark arrows yep these elizabeth mushrooms and then here we so we see solopes one of the lost miracles preserved only in the undead crypt inflicts heavy damage on mindless hollows but has no effect on anything else the undead crypt is a place of rest for the living those afflicted by the curse can only pray to one day gain entra entrance so we saw that Cloanne had this. I'm not sure why she did. Soul Spear, made by obviously Logan. Soul Vortex, um, which it said lost sorceries preserved only in the undead crypt. And Warmth. This is actually the only place you can get warmth. One of the lost pyromancies preserved only in the undead crypt creates a gentle warm flame that heals those who touch it. Fire can be a show of strength, but it is also a symptom of symbol of wisdom and comfort. Fire is what the caster wishes it to be. It's an interesting element of pyromancy um, that says the fire can be controlled so much by pyromancy and it can be whatever you want it to be. It can be acid, it can be poison, it can be heal, it could be flame. But I don't get why Undead Crypt has a fire spell because it would seem that they would be against all forms of fire and warmth like glows and everything. I am a finito. We weave death. This task was granted to me. Countless souls. So maybe he's a crude human. 
maybe he is a you know he's a he keeps saying human so probably a race of people um, and but the race of people are the ones that now give death like as Nito used his soul to um, to produce death so did uh, so do the finito now I guess So yeah, now we're just going to explore the crypt. There's an interesting item up here. Interesting. <laughs> that guy wasn't there before. Crushed Eye Orb. A lot of crazy sound effects. A crushed eye orb with an unfocused gaze. The crushed eye rides unsteadily in search of dishonorable miscreants. Where are the fiends? Where are they? Um, it's not as explicit as, you know, the, um, the La Trek quest line, but it is in the same manner. Same spirit. Oh god, there's a bell here. There's multiple bells here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna run. Ugh. See if I can rest out of it. Okay. Bells call upon the dead and they call upon other spirits. So I'm gonna try to. Vanquish these things as best I can. Okay. So I broke that statue, which prevents these guys from spawning. Oh, great. Look at this. Okay. They're trying to make you break these rocks so that you hit the bell. Okay, so the hero, where else are we gonna, oh there's even skeletons here, which I guess makes sense, don't know why they didn't have, oh I thought that was a guy, break, lock off that guy. Smooth silky stone. Smooth silky stone. Okay. Nice. Oh, and he dropped. Okay, Ladya. So these are the, like, I guess, males of the Ladya group. But yeah, if I can break these, uh, then those guys won't spawn anymore, which is very welcome. Ooh, tight night chunk. And Lady of Gauntlets. Let's read what the Lady of group is all about. Hood of a Lady of Pyromancer. Lady of Apostles, in their conceit, occupy the undead crypt and misuse death. This invoked the ire of Finito, who branded them as transgressors. Yeah, as I say, like, I thought that pyromancy would be, like, against what the finito wanted. Um, yeah, so there's an area down here, too. Um, I guess we could, uh, spare ourselves a, uh, I didn't get this. Alright. 
Let's spare ourselves a uh, flame butterfly and actually light the torch here. We can light some stuff. There used to be a, a sconce in here. Oh, I guess these guys can ring the bell too. Just... I mean. What is this guy dressed in? Why did I jump there? Why ever did I jump? That guy looks like a cleric. He had a mace and he had like what looked like the cleric helm. But he uh, was using dark and miracles. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I guess... I'm up to three hours now on this. <laughs> it's like, it's such a mechanic that's never used that it's like, why even have it? Like... This is kind of cool. take one hit for so yeah yeah the skeptic spice and skeptic spices are used yeah faith so maybe it was even a false cleric like a cleric that was trying to did I just do something terrible oh cool there's another one in this case Well, I want both of them. But if I just set that all that alight, does that mean that I'm just gonna get like mercilessly invaded now? Or was it just those two guys? This actually kind of reminds me of an area in uh, Dark Souls 3. Okay. Well, let us get through this area with all these guys not spawning. Okay, I made a mistake. Seems like it's uh, hard to not have these bells rung. Oh, I see. This is not good. Firestorm. Wow. Just brutal. Okay, so A, I probably shouldn't have lit that up. I thought I was like, oh, cool, I can show this. Although, this is fun. More, that, that is, this is more fun to, you know, see more stuff and have more difficult enemies. But I also was going to come up here and take out these guys. Is he not going to be here? Is it like, oh, yeah, he is. I just want to kill this thing. Okay, good. Now... Oh, weird. I felt like that 
Norm with the normal mechanics that should have hit me. Oh, weird. Wow. Stamina management not strong in this one. Right now. Okay. Nice. And the dried fingers are here. Dried fingers with multiple knuckles, shriveled but radiating in a pe peculiar warmth. By the number of knuckles, it couldn't have been human, but perhaps some questions are left unasked. Um. Oh, why is this? Oh, bracing knuckle ring. Oh, I just rang the bell. Cool. Okay. Yeah, here we go. What the heck? Okay, let's open one of these guys. Please don't be anything horrible in here. I do get, I know, I know I get invaded. Yeah, by a nameless usurper. This is bad. I just did not manage things very well. There she is. But I'm in a much better position now. <laughs> um, I've taken out all of the um, the things that spawn those Ladia Pyromancers. And I can go straight to this area and just fight the one guy. Um, I guess, I don't know if we're going to want to have taken care of this lady. Uh, that hurt me, like, not at all. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just going to... Heal, please. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, this is not a ton of a better situation. Just... Okay. That... <laughs> Okay, now I have a plan. <laughs> but that was just... Ugh, I hate that these don't stay. Especially for me, who uh, is so concerned about my... Uh... My durability. Okay, so the first thing is to come in here and just kill this thing. This lady is sorcerer, pyromancer, whatever the fuck she is. Oh god. I thought for sure she would die in one hit. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then the second thing is to say, hey, come over here. Alright. Now we can clear away. And we can just fight him in peace now. Great. I guess those bring up... Ooh. The skeletons. Oh god. Yeah, this is just brutal. <laughs> I mean, I suppose this, as I say, this probably could be avoided by not lighting those lights. Okay. And does he, yeah, great. I really want Skeptic Spice. I better go farm that guy. Okay, so where are the skeletons now? Like, why are they not? Oh, 
Or do I just go in here and then they like come at that point? I just want to fight Nameless Usurper in peace. Because she's easier. Alone, that is. Especially with the washing pole. Nice. Tack. Was a, that was an ordeal. All right, let's see what's in this. It's the Avalon, which I didn't get in Dark Souls 1. Extremely rare rapid firing crossbow. Fires three successive bolts, inflict heavy damage by making all three shots count. Fiorenza, the richest merchant in all of Volgan, recreated this lost weapon after reading of it in an old book. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think the lore of it in um, Dark Souls 1 is that like it was created by this inventor, and it's like the only time that that inventor was mentioned in the whole game. Maybe that's another item. Um, but, uh... Yeah, it was in the Duke's archives, obviously. Oh, come on. All right, just because I'm going to, I'm gonna take on these guys when I usually don't. Just because I want their shields. In fact, I think I, I dropped him off. Yeah. I was gonna see if I had some. But yeah, you can see their shields. There's two people on them. I think a man and a woman. Can't actually remember. I just know that there's two shields you can get. Okay, I attacked there. Oh my god, did I really not have stamina there? What was going on? Now obviously you can get by them really quite easy. Oh, nice. Be nice if these guys guaranteed the drop of the two shields, like, just so that, you know. Nice. There's two different shields. Orma and the other one. You see, this is the left side or the right, depending on. Shield of the knights who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. They bore no weapons, only a shield split into left and right halves, which they used to playfully crush their foes until their corpses were needed beyond recognition. The engraving depicts two messengers from the hereafter who welcome the recently dead by reviewing the merits of their deeds in life. That's kind of a cool little story. We have these statues here in the undead crypt of an unknown woman spreading out her hands. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which would be how many daughters of Isolith there are. I don't know if that matters. I'm gonna try my best here. And I'm not gonna go into these holes. Magic shield, nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're also more aggressive when the bell rings. Mace of the Insulin. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. So I guess these are the Melfinito. Although they look like clerics. I, I was looking for okay. It's <laughs> hoping I could get some skeptic spice. Man, there's one down there too. There was one that ran around. I'm hoping that he uh, isn't coming down this way. Oh my God, there's so many. Okay. I kind of want to, like, get all the items here. There's some unique weapons in here. But, I mean, at the same time, that I don't want to fight these guys. that sorcery actually actually used. Oh come on. Should use it. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, what if we got the okay. They drop a, a their sword, which is I think we got the shield. <laughs> oh god. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Okay. I thought I turned auto lock on. My god. I'm surprised I haven't died here. Can you just come out here, please? Now that you saw me, you're like an invader, so you don't have any rubber banding, I don't think. Those of you that have played the uh, this game before, you probably were just laughing in your boots when I lit everything up. I don't know if that's a phrase, by the way. Olin for its staff. Okay. Wow. All right. So now. Let us, <laughs> let's take a little refresher. Let's just take a step back. So these guys are a one, oh my God. Oh my dear. Are these guys a one-time kill or are these just you fight them every time? Oh, did not mean to. from down there like if I kill these guys will they never come back can I like clear this area essentially or is it just like I 
screwed up. Or is it all based around the bells? Like, like why was there one here? Oh great, so now both of them are going to come. Because the one guy saw me. Yeah, and he's going up the ladder. Okay, well... Then... Wow. Yeah, this was not a good idea. I mean, it makes more sense. I always thought it was funny because... You know, you would... That he would say, don't produce light, and then you could be in the next room and produce light. Wait, what? What? Where did you come from? Oh, I am so unprepared for this area. Where? Oh, you. Oh my god, so it's just. It's, it's fruitless. It's fruitless. Yeah, th so you just, those guys are gonna kill you no matter what. Those guys are gonna be revealed. Can I, oh my god. Hmm. All right, well this is gonna be one where I guess we can't really uh, rush it. There's a dragon rider there. I'm gonna try and rush it. Although they're not hitting the, uh... oh my God. I have no idea how to handle this. <laughs> I just royally screwed up. Okay, no poise. Some of them are dropping Simpleton, some of them are dropping Skeptic. That's a cool image. Scald woman like the one, there were seven of them. And then like some robed people below. Okay, well, can I attract like one of these guys? To be fair, these guys are not bad. Okay. So as long as the guy doesn't like randomly ring it, the bell, so that these guys get spawned again, we can just do this normally. Okay. I feel a lot better about this area. Oh. Oh, stamina. Never run out of stamina. Although I didn't get really hammered there. Break their guard, okay. Alrighty. A great sword. Is that different than no we got that? Why do they have a great sword? Alright. He can't break this guy's guard. <laughs> wow, he's kind of a tank. Am I not wearing my Corinth earring? Like, what's the deal?
Yeah, I'm using up a lot of my stem. I just feel like this. Wow. Probably should have dodged that, actually. That was too close for comfort. I think what's happening is that I'm like getting one of my things is hitting the shield. Maybe not. I don't know. Just die. I think I should be good for the fight here. And we definitely want to see if we can summon here. Because, although I don't know what, if I, you know, I turn on the light, so maybe Agdane's all pissed at me. But he's the one you can summon. Okay, great. Glad I could. Okay. Is he over here or something? Oh, is he up there now? No? Yeah, maybe, maybe you could still summon him, but then... Dark Knight Stone. But because I did what I did... Oh, there. There's some summon. Oh, Poison Throwing Knife. I wonder who that stuff was supposed to be. Okay, is this still Agdane? Alright. Come on, man. Let's do this. I'll start. Now you can fight Fendrick, or maybe this is Vilstadt. Or simply Vilstadt. It seems like it's a German name, and if it, that is the case, I guess I should say Felstadt. But maybe it's just Vilstadt. Is this Fendrick? Felstadt. The Royal A Aegis. Is this crazy move where he like hits behind him and backs up. I guess it kind of evokes um, it kind of evokes um, Ornstein but it kind of grabs me sometimes when I hit him from behind. Okay. So easily to avoid. What was that going on with Agdane? Ooh. He has a dark attack, so I got really freaked out. <laughs> that that was actually Velstad's dark attack. <laughs> greed. Too much greed. I'll just go and heal up here, and there's his dark attack. Oh, you got him. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> Alright. Couple surprises thrown my way. However, I will say. That uh, that's that's still one of my favorite fights of this game, which I think says a lot, um, as it's not that great. Um, upside down statues hung. Why is that, man? I, I as I tell you, I want a statue series. 
Maybe I'll have to go and make it myself. I'll have to like get cheat edit, cheat engine or whatever so that I can fly around and like look at everything close up and and stuff. Or is there a map editor for Dark Souls 2? Like, is there a way to like just like go in the maps and look at the stuff? Okay, let's read the Soul of Elstad, which looks very different from any other soul we've gotten. Well, there's two types of souls. Well, I guess three. But there's the regular soul sprite, and then there's been the uh, Great Souls, which is like just the bigger one, and then the Soul of Giant, which looks similar to the Great Souls, actually, but it has a little black in the center. But this one, colorblind, so I don't know what color that is, but they're a different color, and like looks a little bit more contained. It's not like as... Like a, it doesn't look a, a flame as much. Soul of Belstadt, defender of the king inside the undead crypt. Belstadt was always at the king's side, as if he were the lord's own shadow. After the king retired to the undead crypt, Belstadt followed, never to return. Use the special soul of this knight. Well, that means that then we should be coming across Vendrick soon. And then this is one of my favorite moments in the whole series. I mean, I think it's better than... I think it's better than Gwyn, because Gwyn's not really a reveal. Gwyn is like... You know, you know you're gonna fight Gwyn, you go to fight Gwyn, he's still fighting, but he might be hollowed if you pay attention and all this stuff. But I just love this, I just love that, you know, we're meant to like, come find Vendrick, succeed him and do this, and then when we get here, he's just taken all of his clothes off, which by the way, are covered in the bright bugs. And then he's just wandering. He's completely hollowed. And he has no idea what's going on. He doesn't attack us. Um, we can fight him, but there is a trick to fighting him. And so we're going to get that stuff all taken care of before we fight him. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is just, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, let's see what this is. We can also see the Emerald Herald spawn in if we look backwards. We get the King's Ring off of his body. Or his clothes. So the things that ward off Dark were on his clothes. So obviously he knew a bit more about Nishandra than some did. He eventually figured it out. He covered himself in dark protection, went through the Shrine of Amana, which, you know, is meant to calm people that are um, of death and dark, and then lock himself deep into the crypt, guarded even by Velstadt. This ring is the symbol of the king. Use it to gain passage through the King's Gate and venture to the Far East. Bearer of the Curse, if you are to be the next monarch, then one day you will walk those grounds without really knowing why. That's what I wanted to say. What, okay, what, um, what the Scholar of the First Sin said to us at the beginning of this is he goes, why, he keeps on asking, why do you want to succeed him? But she says that you will end up here without really knowing why, which is what the first woman said to us that we saw in the forest, one of the four fire keepers. This has led people to speculate whether or not the Emerald Herald is that first fire keeper that you meet in the forest with the spindle um 
And then she says that you will go through and end up standing before the gates and you won't really know why you were there. Something she repeats right here. And I think it's really interesting that, um, you know, what the scholar of the first sin is trying to get you to do. I mean, you could, you could argue that, you know, this is the analog to Koth and, and Frampt, that we have Frampt here, the Emerald Herald, just saying we have to do this. And then we have um, the scholar of the first sin not necessarily telling us a story like Koth did, but saying, why are you doing this? <laughs> like, you're just doing this blindly without even thinking about it. And for that reason, I, as I say, I think I'm going to not do her bidding. I want to be contrarian. But, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit more overt in this game than in the first, but... Let's read the symbol of the king. A soul is much like a curse. And those with strong souls must bear within themselves an even stronger curse. Fender, king of Drang Lake, used a powerful soul to keep the curse at bay. In the end, he sought the flame that began it all. Wear this ring to open the king's gate. A soul is much like a curse. We've heard that a lot of times in this game. That being born is the real curse. Um, you know, like, with death comes, with life comes death, you know, with life and death comes undeath. And those with strong souls must bear within themselves an even stronger curse. And he certainly had a strong bear to bear. Fendrick used a powerful soul to keep the curse at bay. Which is an interesting sentence. In the end, he sought the flame that began it all. So, he definitely attempted to succeed Gwyn, essentially, in the same manner that we've been doing forever. Um, but he obviously failed. Uh, I'm not even going to mess with this. I'm going to Homeward Bone. So now... Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to attempt to beat the Throne Watcher and Defender. My main motivation for doing so is that I am interested in, there's a number of things that, interesting. So yeah, now that I'm wearing the ring, these open. I'm glad that this guy doesn't come after us. But there's actually, especially in this version, there's three bosses if you do this like absolutely in order or whatever. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do this. I really don't know. Maybe I'm like super not prepared for this. But I will summon a bunch of people um, to maybe help distract. But I guess this is meant to be the... Um, I guess the story would be better if I came here at the very end, but I'll explain that when I get there. For right now, I want to get the most different story elements, and that would involve me trying to beat this one now, and then going around doing stuff, and then coming back and beating the game. Uh, but even so, like, there's going to be... Oh, shoot. Oh, I haven't met Vengarl. Where is Vengarl? Is he it? Well, let's try it. <sighs> so these guys have a brutal mechanic. Just 
cannot not get hit by this one. Oh my god. Instant. Instant death. Oh man. Okay, so I thought in this game, once you opened this, it stayed open. That is certainly something that I disliked from the first game. Especially if you had like a very precise setup with your rings. Because then you'd have to switch them back here, and then you go, and then you die, and then you switch them back to the king's ring, and then open the door, and then wait five million seconds. I guess it might be a loading issue, but it just seems like this area would be fine to load in with the rest of Drain Lake Castle. Like there's plenty of areas that you could unload, and then if you went the other way direction, you could load them in and unload this area. Let's try not to be as silly this time. I guess we can also try to like... Sure, let's do poison. push them off I think. I've seen things where they fall off but I'm not sure. Like this isn't even difficulty. I'm just like I'm not even doing like what <laughs> what is my problem? Oh my. <laughs> like it's not like they're overwhelming me right now. I'm just standing there. I don't know what's going on. Um, like, I don't think I'm not at a good place to fight these guys. I mean, obviously, there's people that, you know, can do the whole game at soul level one. But, I mean, it's like... I don't even know what they're doing that, it, like, is any more difficult than literally any enemy so far. I just, like, I'm not rolling, I'm not... I don't know. It's just really getting me. I don't know if they can um, really made use of that rotten pine resin too. Boy, boy, I just overwhelmed them with poison there, and just you know, they couldn't even handle it. Um, so I need to summon Benhart though, because I mean, one way is just to try to do it by myself and and try to. I mean, they'll focus more on me, although pff, they were focusing on me so much. But they'll have less health. But I need Ben Hart for a number of fights so that I can get his equipment for the story. Um, so that's what I'm choosing to do. And if I can't do this, I mean, we're now just like getting way too close to call. Like, this is like, this should be over. already an hour here so we're gonna say one last time here and if this doesn't work then we'll just uh, we'll go on to another thing why did I not get hit Don't come after me. Oh, 
How am I not getting hit? I feel like I've gotten hit so many times. Okay. Do these guys not get poisoned or something? Why are they just coming after me? So the mechanic of this fight, which kind of sucks, is that if you get one too low down, they'll um, they'll revive each other. They must be immune to. Be immune to poison, which is really great for me. So we really need to work on this guy because we kind of want them to be even. For a lot of it, just because we want them to be, uh, Oh my dear lord. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and but, but he needs to survive. Oh my god. Do have a period of time here where they don't. Where they don't heal. But that was about as close as you can go. I guess they maybe should have gotten out. Because. Like. Ben Hart should have survived that. I guess I have a couple of different. Um, um, I have a couple different chances with him, but I mean, I guess I can't screw up again. Or, you know, Ben Hart's not the most amazing story or items, I don't know. Lugatil's who I really care about. Okay, so, there is a kiln. Uh, there's ash everywhere. This is where we will eventually, um, end the game making the decision of whether we link the flame in the kiln or whether we um, leave. But for now, we don't even get the option. For reasons we'll find later. But I know it's already long as it is. But what I'm going to do here so I'm going to go back to Majula. We're going to read a few items, talk to a few people. So it'll be a bit of a longer episode again. I'm not like trying to make my episodes a certain length, but it's just at first I was trying to go 40 minutes and then if it went over to an hour, it was cool. But now it's like I do things where I'm like, oh, I just want to keep going to come awake now. That's weird. Alright. So yeah, just go back to Adula. Alright, so Bearer of the until let's just level up. I mean, why not? Our endurance is doing well. Let's do it. Hopefully, Thank you. maybe you offer twinkling now. You've been well. You do. However, I don't even have the ability to buy one. I have two, so this would be it. Hold no, on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, and we also have these uh, souls to read. Oh, wow. Okay, we might be able to do this.
わっ。Alright, let's do this. We have so much stuff to read, too. Alright.、Uh, and I guess. Yeah, we can't do that anymore. Alright, we have so much stuff to read. We have so many things to look at. We're gonna just start the next episode out that way.、Uh, thanks for watching, and、uh, we'll、uh, resume next time. Bye!